Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by my channel. It's been a minute since I've done a video. I'm going to show some items that I ordered from Amazon, scrapbook.com, one thing from HSN. I also ordered from Echo Park <laughs> and I've got a lot of things to share. So briefly, I want to show this and this is for the celebration I'm having for my two year anniversary on YouTube. I'm also having a thousand subscriber challenge giveaway. Here's how you can enter. Uh, you should be a visible subscriber, obviously. That is my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers. And my goal date is October 31st, but it's possible I might not reach that number by the end of October. So whenever I reach that goal of a thousand subscribers, that's when my challenge giveaway will end and I'll um, give away some prizes. Now, if I don't get to a thousand subscribers by the end of October, it will just continue until I reach the, the thousand subscribers. So there's plenty of time to enter. What I'm asking is number one, to be a visible subscriber to my YouTube channel. And I'm asking for you to send uh, me a handmade item, something made with paper, or if you like to DIY things. It's definitely crafter's choice. Some themes. Now we are kind of getting to the end of summer, but if you want to send something summer themed, maybe that you've been working on, and it can be a card if you want to just make me a handmade card and send that. Uh, or if you're working on, you're like me, I get swap uh, I don't know what I call it, Swap Envy, where I want to participate in swaps, but it just, it's such a struggle for me. If you're not quite at that swapping level and you still like to make handmade things and you'd like to send me a, just a little something, uh, my reason for asking for these things is so that I can share them in upcoming YouTube videos. And the more I do that, the more people will view and hopefully I'll get more subscribers and that'll help me reach my thousand subscriber goal so um, back to the themes summer celebration since it's my two-year anniversary celebration halloween is always definitely a fun one or something fall themed um, really you can send anything I, it doesn't matter these are just some ideas and i thought these would be good videos upcoming oh and also if you would like to you can send me an ATC card just decorate it however you like if you would include your birthday on there and your socials that way I know how to get in touch with you and I'm going to try to organize mine by uh, birthday months so that I can as I get into making more things I can send out a little happy mails and things for people's birthdays so I will share all the entries on YouTube. My mailing address will be in the description box of this video. And I'll also put a link to the original video. Um, I did one follow up and I showed some of the uh, items I'm going to be giving away. Here I'll be, I'm giving away a $25 gift card, a loaded tote, uh, a bundle of seam binding and a packet of uh, new metal dies that I have in my stash that uh, have duplicates of. Those are the particulars for my challenge and that's all I'm going to say about it in this video because this is really a haul video. Without further ado, we're going to get into my crafty goodies that I got. I will try to go through these things quickly so this video doesn't take too long, but I do want to share everything with you that I got. I ordered two things on Amazon recently. I uh, decided I was going to limit myself to one Halloween die because I don't need any more. I have Halloween dies that I have never used, but I had to order this. And that's the cat mini album from Chaos Craft. I just think it is so cute. I actually ordered it once when it was available on Amazon and then they came back and said it was going to be delayed. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to cancel it. 
and I saw it back on there, so I reordered it. And it took a week or two for it to get to me. I believe it came in the mailbox. But I just think it's so adorable. I cannot wait to make a cat mini album. I don't know if I'll do a Halloween theme one or, or what it will be. But this will be good for all seasons for me because I have cats and I'm a cat lover. I treated myself to that. I also ordered some charms because I'm planning on doing a little Halloween swapping, hopefully. And these are all like enamel. I don't know if I can put them on this box. Maybe we can see what they look like. So cute. There's pink in here. And got little ghosties in there. A couple different kinds of ghosts. Super cute, and I like the Halloween hats, or the witch's hats. Some bats. I don't know why they made the bats purple and not put some black ones in here, but I don't think I got one black bat. So I got those. All right, so that was my Amazon purchase. I wanted to share with you this glue that I buy. I buy it at United Art and Education Store that I have here in town. And this is pH neutral PVA glue. It's by Books by Hand. And I did do a search on Amazon and you can get this on Amazon. And this is a eight ounce bottle. There is even a website. I did not look up their website. I've been using this glue for two years. And this is an eight ounce bottle. And this was under nine dollars i think it was 850. i use this all the time this is what i use to do my paper crafting and i do have a bottle of art glitter glue here this is also eight ounces i got this at a scrapbook show last year this was 12.95 i will say it is a little messier than maybe this one as it's drying there's like extra little glue drying bits that come off but I just get my little vacuum out and vacuum it up afterwards. I got this new today. They've changed the bottle. They put this new on here. Last time I bought it it just had a regular cap on it. I recycle a Barely Arts bottle that I have and pour this in it. Next thing I ordered was a couple things from HSN. And this is just replacement blanks for my diamond press die cutting machine. And then during one of their last craft days, they had their secret sale. And they had the We Are Memory Keepers Fuse Tool on sale. I think it was like $17. And it was a whole kit. It comes with a ruler and two different tips. I am excited to play with it. Came with this non-stick silicone mat. Then it also came with 10 page protectors. I guess you can melt the plastic. I'm gonna try to make some little uh, packs. So it's very excited to see that was on sale. I was not about to pay Full price for it because I've heard different people say they do and don't like it. So I can't wait to try it out. So that was everything from HSN. My biggest purchases is my scrapbook.com. And I actually have two separate orders because I ordered as soon as they announced the scrapbook. Oh my gosh, what's it called? Scrapbook, the upcoming Scrapbook Fest. Is that what it's called? Scrapbook.com Fest? I don't know. But anyway, they. Uh, I ordered, I decided I'm going to participate in the, some of the classes, so I ordered some of the kits. This is one of them. Came with a paper pad. This one is uh, six by eight, I think. Yeah, six by eight winter pattern super cute 
If you have not looked up scrapbook.com to uh, learn about the SBC Fest, definitely check it out because um, this kit right here is going to be a class. And the other items in the kit, I'll get off the crinkle. Came with a rubber stamp set and then the dies that go with it. And then the set of snowflakes, which I might have to start playing around with before the class. And the snowflake stencil. And there's actually, oh, there's two kits in here. This is for another class, these uh, nesting trees. And this is Winter Wishes die set. Super cute. I'm very excited about playing around with these and taking the class. And then that came with some freebies. Came with these adhesive patches. And thank you, rubber stamps. And then one order. I can't remember. I think this came with this also. This crab die set. So that was one order. And then I ordered a second time because some of them were not available yet and they came yesterday so let me just show my freebies first i got this really neat blending brush i've never used one from there the only ones i have are the ones from dollar tree and then these jen hadfield puffy stickers which are really pretty and these were free also Oh yes, these were free also. And I ordered the uh, coordinating die set that goes with this. So these were all the freebies for one order. Oh, and I got this too, a silicone mat. So much goodies. And this kit, oh, here's the coordinating dies for the rubber stamps. Part of the, one of the uh, SBC craft kits comes with the rubber stamps and then the background die set and nesting octagon dies you get so many in here there's 14 dies then this adorable set of dies it's called berry christmas 59 pieces in there so cute i can't wait to start playing with these and then this cutie bear hugs and fall treats you can make all kinds of goodies look at the sweet treats you can make so much fun these are good size too okay so that was the dies and then the papers okay so this came with a small snowy days these are great for card fronts look at those pattern paper in there so pretty cute there's some pink and mint in there this is called charming this was part of the this is part of one of the kits too for the classes and this was a freebie, this mixed media paper pad. 15 sheets, but it feels like more. I guess it's pretty thick. Oh yeah, it's super thick. So that's everything that I got in my scrapbook.com order. This actually got here really quick. And I am done ordering for the e for the um <laughs> SBC Fest. I don't need to order anything else. I spent probably, uh, I think one was 30. Let me see. This does not have the prices on it. I think one was 30 and one was 35, something like that. And then the first one, I don't really remember. I had decided if I don't get around to doing all the classes during the SBC Fest, I can do them later and watch the videos back. And I'll just show you my Echo Park order real quick. It's all in this big box here. 
and I just got paper pads. I accidentally ordered two of one. That's okay, because it's a floral pattern. We're having a uh, sale, so they were $7.99 a piece. I guess that's half price. Here's the one I ordered two of, Flora number six. I just love all these colors in here. So pretty. I'm not going to show you all the papers, but here's the uh, sticker sheet. Y'all know Echo Park. And I ordered another Flora. This is number five. Pretty. I love Cardabella paper because it's got a nice texture to it. And I feel like I was lucky to find this on sale. So cute. I love all the ladybugs and the red and green strawberries on there. So that'll be maybe for next year. Then I ordered this winter land one. It's pretty. There's the sticker sheet. And I ordered more flora, Christmas flora. This is Christmas flora Mary. I did not realize there was more than one Christmas flora, but I got them. And there's a lot of poinsettias in here. And I'm gonna pull out my seam binding. I have three colors in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna see which one goes best with this because reds are really hard sometimes. So that's Christmas Flora Mary and then I got Christmas Flora Peaceful. And I like this one because it's got pink in it. And here's this one. I'm really gonna work hard at making some mini albums too, I think. I'd like to add some mini albums to my Etsy shop. This is called Letters to Santa. It did not have a cover sheet. I don't really remember what it looks like, but here is the sticker sheet, which is really cute. There's the colors of it. And this is really beautiful. All right. Oh yeah, it says no kit cover right there. This is Cardabella too. I can tell the texture on here and it does say Cardabella in the corner. So one thing I noticed, usually when I go on Echo Park, I just go to the things that are on sale. And so I decided to go look through all the Cardabella collections. And there's quite a few Cardabella collections that I've never seen before. They weren't on sale, but they're designs I've never seen before. So if you always just look at the sale stuff, definitely go check out Cardabella, the, the collection kits, and just scroll through that section of the ones that aren't on sale because I found quite a few. But anyway, I think that's everything. I was looking around to see if there was anything else that I had ordered. And I think that I shared everything and that's enough. I knew I wanted to do the scrapbook.com kits. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and don't forget about my two-year anniversary 1,000 subscriber challenge. You can send as just a little card if you want to, and you'll be entered in my drawing giveaway. There's plenty of time to participate. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.